Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we are doing a dividing fractions worksheet. This is from mathdrills.com. Make sure to check out Math Drills online with the link in the description below. So we have a bunch of fractions that we're dividing here and you can see they're all mostly proper, uh, no improper fractions, I think that's what it says. Uh, in the description it says that it's all proper fractions. But what is it talking about when we're dividing fractions? A couple things you need to know. You'll need to know what multiplying fractions, how to do that, and I have a little summary of how to multiply fractions. That's top times top, bottom times bottom for multiplying fractions. Check out the video I have on multiplying fractions. But when we're dividing fractions, I think students get caught up in what does it mean to divide a fraction. So I have an example here. Of course, we're talking about pizza because pizza is the best way to understand fractions. So let's take an example. So we have half a pizza and we divide it in four. Let's visualize what that means first. So if we have half a pizza, let me get rid of half this pizza here. Okay, so I'm going to divide half this pizza and let's just say, uh, you know, your brother eats it. So bye-bye pizza. You know, he's hungry all the time. Okay, so we have half a pizza and we divide it in four. What does that mean? Well, that means we want to divide it into four slices. So let me go ahead and draw what that looks like. Okay, and there's one and that is not an equal slice. Let's go more. Okay, let's try to hit the middle here. Okay, so that's about right. And we divide that in half to get a fourth. And hold on, struggling a little bit. We want to eat the crust too. A lot of people don't like to eat the crust, but that's what we're doing for this problem. Okay, so we have this into four slices. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we divide it into four slices. Now, what does that mean? It means what is the portion of each one of these slices? So if we were to only eat one of these, okay, so if we were to only eat one of these slices, how much of the whole pizza would that be? That's essentially the problem here. One half divided by four. How much of the pizza do you have for each one of those four people that have that slice. So what portion of the pizza is that? Well, we need some help in order to do this, okay? So if you look at this slice, okay, we can visualize and see that this is one eighth of a pizza. But how do you do that from this? Well, the easiest way to do this problem is to change it into a multiplication problem, okay? Turn it into multiplying by the reciprocal. So if this is true, we need a strategy in which we can do this quickly without having to visualize and draw a bunch of pizza, okay? And this is the process. Multiplying by the reciprocal is the same thing as dividing a fraction. And for that process, we keep change and flip, okay? So how do we get 1 eighth? Well, 1 half times 1 fourth is equal to 1 eighth. Why? Because we do the top times the top, and we get one, and then we do the bottom times the bottom, two times four, and we get eight. So it works out that these two things are equivalent, but this is the process we are gonna use. And let me demonstrate what that looks like real quick with the, our example, okay? So first off, we have keep. That means we're gonna keep the first fraction the same. One fourth, nope, it was it one half? That's what it was, one half, we're gonna keep that the same, okay? One half, we're gonna keep, let me get rid of some of this clutter. Gotta keep my room clean here, okay? So we're gonna keep, get rid of this. Okay, we're gonna keep one half the same, so we're gonna keep him. We're gonna change, what do we change it to? We wanna change this to a multiplication problem because division is often very difficult to visualize or think about. So we're gonna change this to a multiplication problem. And then lastly, we're going to flip. We are gonna flip this to be the reciprocal. I'm using purple, okay? So how do you change four to be the reciprocal? Four, four is the same thing as four over one, okay? So that's the first thing. I like to put it over one anytime you have a whole number because it's easier to flip. And then when we change this to the reciprocal, let me see, this is equal. When we change it to reciprocal, we just flip the numerator and the denominator, okay? Pretty simple there for the flip part. So we change this to one over four. Keep, change, flip, and now we just do our multiplication rule. So one times one, and then four times two is eight. So that's the process, okay? Now we can apply keep, change, flip to the rest of these problems, and it's pretty straightforward from here, okay? So let me show you what that looks like right quick here. First problem, one-fifth. So this is the part we're gonna keep, one-fifth. I would rewrite all these problems, okay? So change, we're gonna change this to multiplication. And then flip, we're gonna flip this to be 
three over two instead of two thirds. And then we just multiply. Now, a couple things here. I'll, oftentimes what I'll see is I'll see flip, change, keep, okay, where they flip the first fraction. Don't do that. You're gonna get an incorrect answer that way. So if we follow this process, we're gonna get three times one on the top, five times two in the bottom, we get three over 10, and that's our answer. I also have students that wanna flip this last result here. Don't do that either, okay? You wanna keep it, change it, flip it, multiply straight across, and then you're done, okay? Let's do uh, another example here. Let's do one third times three fourths, or sorry, divided by three fourths. We're gonna change it to something else soon. So we're gonna change this to a multiplication problem, much easier that way, and then we're gonna flip this to be four over three. So this is our new problem, much easier to solve here. We're gonna have four over nine, and that's it. Now, if you can simplify at the end, make sure to do that. I'm trying to see if there's a couple that we can simplify. I'm not seeing any off the get-go but let's just take another gander. I don't think any of these simplify to be to be quite honest, which is nice because it's a nice introductory one, but let's just jump to 11, uh, random example here. Okay, so keep change flip, three over seven. I'm gonna multiply and then, I, because I changed this, and then I put it nine over five, and then it's 27 over 35. Now, if we are going to simplify, we're going to look for common factors. It doesn't look like any of these have common factors, but if there's common factors shared between the top number and the bottom number, numerator and denominator, you're going to want to divide the top and bottom by that same factor, okay? Let's just do one more. To be thorough, one-third times four over three, okay? And we get four over nine, and that's going to be our answer. So pretty simple process. Dividing fractions, really not that bad. Again, you're going to want to keep change flip. Um, that's kind of a good way to remember how to do this, and that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out more like this, more Math Drills videos right here on this channel, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.